Well, let's see how far we get with this today. Now, I was kind of excited from what I saw with this bushing. I definitely figured out that I got way too much lube on here. <laughs> so I have one more. I forgot to go pick up more. I do have... Uh, I do have a uh, rod of Delrin that I can play with if uh, this doesn't work. And last night I uh, drew up that red bushing in CAD. And then I went in and modified it and changed it to the dimensions that I need to fit in the dog bone. So now uh, I want to uh, play on the CNC lathe and see if I can't... Uh, figure out how to whittle this one down. I think what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to take a, a 5 8 inch bolt or uh, shaft or something like that that will, you know, maybe with a bolt or something like that that'll hold it away from the uh, the chuck and put just a little squish on it. Something along those lines. I don't really want it to squeeze the inside out. So I'm hoping that just a little bit of pressure like that will be enough to make it grab. Probably have to take some light cut, stuff like that. We'll see. Uh, I've got a sharp cutter. Turns out it's not a high-speed steel. It's a uh, uh, carbide one for uh, aluminum. So we'll give that one a try, mainly because it's an insert, and I don't really want to grind a high-speed tool. Um, but if that doesn't work, I'll grind a high-speed tool. Uh, this The durometer on this one uh, I got back from, heard back from Energy Suspension is uh, 88A. Uh, the other stuff I bought is 80A. Uh, so they're real, real close. All right, what we're going to do here, we're going to, I picked up some uh, 0.625 DOM with, uh, I believe, an 095 wall, which makes the inside smaller than I need. I, I wanted it at a half inch, but uh, it actually works out fine. Because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill it out and tap it. And I, and I got a feeling it doesn't need drilled out. <laughs> that looks smaller than the hole already. Uh, so I'm going to face the end and uh, clean it up just a bit here. But I'm going to make a, an arbor, basically, for holding the, uh, the urethane bushing. So I don't have to drill it out. I don't care that it won't get full thread engagement. Um, I just need it to tighten in a little bit. I, I don't, I don't want to squish the urethane too much, so... And I'm going to leave the outside rough. In fact, uh, push come to shove, I may knurl it to uh, get more grip on that urethane. And luckily I had a uh, half 13 tap. I've got plenty of half 13 bolts, so... Now this is just a regular tap holder, okay, kind that normally has a bar going through it. And what I did a while back, in fact I made two of them, one for a guy at work, I took some hex bar I had and put it in the mill and milled it down. I basically just clamped it in the vise like this and just came up on the side, you know, turned it, turned it, turned it. <laughs> piece of cake. Uh, then I drilled and tapped a hole into both and put a stud in there. Basically a bolt with the head cut off. Uh, and put them together with uh, Loctite. Cranked them down nice and tight. So now I have a, a six-sided adapter here that I can put it in a drill. And uh, I'll tell you what, it uh, that works awesome. So it gives me a good positive hold on the tap. I can get a good positive hold in the chuck now. Now the only question is will it spin in the M3 or whatever arbor this is. Oh, da, 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 da. I also made this one quite a while ago too. Uh, it just fits in there and it gives me the leverage I need. I 
can see it twisting the adapter here. Take it back, break it off. And I didn't tighten this up too tight, okay, so if it wants to pull it, it can pull it. I just needed it tight enough to uh, not let it rotate. And I can't stand these taps. These are, uh, this is just a high carbon, uh, carbon steel uh, tap. And uh, I much prefer the two fluted gun taps, stuff like that, uh, high speed steel ones. So much better. And I'm doing this. That's the same as uh, a lot of guys. Uh, and maybe this is the preferred method to uh, use a crescent wrench on the jaws. I hadn't uh, seen or known about that before when I made the other piece. Um, you know, and sometimes you have the jaws covered up and you just can't get at them. Um, It's been holding, but it's been coming out of here because I haven't been pushing it forward. I noticed it was pulling the tap in, and I was trying to figure out from where. And this is one of those situations that even if the lathe had enough grunt, you know, on a low gear to uh, do this. Oh, see that? It just broke loose here. Stinker. That's not good. Oh, and I pulled it out far enough there, I just killed my damn uh, adapter. friggin' annoying. Well, anyway, see what I just did there? Literally broke that one. Guess I guess I gotta buy another tap handle. At least I won't have to make this piece again. I'll just drill it out. Nice. That's uh, that's probably close enough because I will. I'm thinking I'll probably put uh, uh, a washer on there. I may put a washer on the back side here too and tack weld it and that gives me something to push my uh, uh, bushing up against. All right, I needed uh, something back here. I was talking about spot welding a washer on. Well, here we go. This is a leftover scrap piece from uh, the outer bearing adapters. That's perfect. So I can tack it on if I want. I can also just, for now, when I put it in the uh, little lathe, set the depth of the inner piece you know to where I want it because basically basically I'm gonna want that to stick out you know like sixteenth of an inch eighth of an inch so that when the bolt tightens down it squishes a little bit you know I should make one of those for this end yeah it doesn't have to be quite as long could be there's still plenty to grab in the uh, in the chuck